So we're going to draw an isometric view of three steps. That's what it looks like from the three sides. First, we do an oblique view. We have the profile of the steps, our 45 degree lines. And the profile of the steps at the back follows the same pattern. If the depth of each step is 30 and the width of the steps 40, the first step is 20 and the next two are 10 each, that gives a total of 40 for the height. So, from that perspective, let's start with a vertical line and then we're going to draw a giant block that's 90 millimeters but I've marked off 30 for each step at this stage. The width of the steps altogether is 40. The total height is 40. And now I've finished measuring. I measure once and use construction lines to create the large block. All these lines may seem a little confusing at first, so once I've done my construction lines, I'm going to do the first step with the boundary lines. Notice I'm using a pen again, that's just for it to stand out. You would use a pencil. This is sped up to two and a half times the normal speed. If you're finding this is a bit fast, watch it and then pause it at different sections so that you can do your own drawing if you need the guidance. Now you can see the advantage of using the T-square and when I'm doing my boundary lines I try and do as many as I can that are measuring in the one direction only. And the last two vertical lines of the front step, and they are finished. I'm just going to lightly erase the construction lines that may confuse the drawing. And I'm hoping you can now see the three steps. Isometric view.